What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose and I'm back with another episode of my Mutt 17 unofficial rating series where we break down the top 5 players on each team in Mutt 17, who I think they're going to be of course, not official ratings just yet, we'll find that out in a couple months probably. Now uh, we have the Buffalo Bills today and you guys see this tweet right here, who do you think will be the highest overall Bills player in Mutt 17? I honestly forgot to put on Marcel Darius who is one of their better players, and I should have put him on the list. Uh, Sammy Watkins still walked away with the victory. 200 votes, that's our highest vote total so far. Let's see if we can beat that for the next week's poll for the Denver Broncos. I'll put that up right when this video goes up, so definitely check the link down in the description. You guys can click on that link, go right over to that tweet, and uh, click on it and vote on it, obviously. Now, uh, let's get right into it with the top five bills in Mutt 17. At number five, I have Ronald Darby, cornerback for the Buffalo Bills. He had a fantastic rookie season. Unbelievable, honestly. 68 combined tackles, 61 total tackles, uh, 21 pass defenses, and two interceptions as well. Just a fantastic year all around in his rookie year. Just, you know, honestly, I was shocked at how well he did. Some uh, Somebody on Twitter mentioned to me that he did really, really well because he wasn't in my poll, so he wanted to let me know. And I had to look into it. He had a great year. So I'm going to put him at an 84 overall to start off uh, 17. I think he really could be that high. He might not be just because it's only his second year in the league. They probably don't want to give him too big of an upgrade, uh, you know, as an overreaction. But I honestly think it's definitely warranted. He was one of the better corners in the league this year, even though he was a rookie. And uh, he definitely deserves a pretty solid rating to start off about 17. At number four, I have Stephon Gilmore, the other cornerback for the Buffalo Bills. A lot of people in the league, I've seen a bunch of articles as I was looking up stuff about this, that him and Ronald Darby are one of the best tandems uh, cornerback-wise in the entire league. Some even said they were the best based on statistics and stuff like that. Uh, Gilmore played another great year this year. He played in only 12 games, but still had 18 pass defenses and three interceptions. If you guys aggregate that out to a full season, 16-game season, that's four interceptions and 24 pass defenses. What an ex extremely good year right here for him. So I'm going to put him in an 84 overall as well. I think he's more likely to be an 84 overall than Darby is because Gilmore has a little bit more time in the league, you know, proven himself a little bit more. Yeah, um, obviously, Darby had a great year, but like I said, he's, he's, he was only a rookie this past year, so I'm not exactly sure if they will, uh, you know, be as generous as they would be with Gilmore. But I think both of them should be 84 overalls in about 17. At number three, we got Sammy Watkins. He had another great year this year, his second year in the league. He played 13 games, had 60 catches for over 1,000 yards, um, averaging over 80 yards per game, and also had nine touchdowns. Really came out of his shell, especially with a pretty good quarterback in Tyrod Taylor. Uh, much better than EJ Manuel um, and the other guys they had there. Uh, before that so really good year for Sammy Watkins a very very solid he actually had more yards this past season than his rookie year and he even played in three less games that's pretty impressive also had three more touchdowns this year than his rookie year and honestly his rookie year was pretty good so I think an 84 overall for Sammy Watkins is pretty reasonable I could even see him somehow eking into an 85 base elite but I think 84 is a very solid rating I kind of consider him like Alshon Jeffrey of this past year and an 84 overall should suit him just fine in the number two spot, we got Kyle Williams. He actually didn't play very much this year, only played six games, only came up with 14 tackles and only one sack as well. Those were all pretty much career lows except for 2011 where he even played less games, only five that year. Uh, so I think Kyle Williams should drop a little bit in overall. I believe he had an 87 overall to start off uh, Mutt 16. I'm going to drop him to an 85 overall in Mutt 17. Pretty much based on the career he's had. He's had a great career, honestly. Uh, played in the league for almost 10 years now and uh, really has had a great, great career. Hit 35 and a half sacks for his entire career and a ton of tackles as well. Really a, a solid run stopper up the middle and uh, can even get to the quarterback, like I mentioned, with those 35 and a half sacks. So I think just based on the pedigree and the overall, you know, talent and whatnot, I think an 85 overall base elite is a pretty solid rating for Kyle Williams to start off about 17. Now, finally, the guy that I forgot to put on the Twitter poll, Marcel Darius. He is going to be our number one overall um, it, for the Buffalo Bills in Mutt 17. He had 51 tackles this past season, only two sacks, which was a career low. I'm not really sure if that's due to a change in scheme for the Bills or just a down year for him. I'm not really sure just because, you know, I don't really know everything, all the ins and outs of, uh, you know, the defensive side of the ball in football. But still overall, a pretty solid year with a ton of tackles. Obviously, you'd like to get that sack number up a little bit. But uh, I, th I still think he's pretty much the most dominant player on the Bills for sure. And I'm going to put him at an 87 overall in Mutt 17. He does drop for me one overall from his 88 overall in Mutt 16. Just purely, like I said, based on the fact that his sack numbers and whatnot dropped a little bit. But I think overall, Marcel Darius, 87 overall, should be one of the better DTs starting off Mutt 17. All right, guys, that'll do it for my Mutt 17 Buffalo Bills top five ratings. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments down below. I think a few guys I left off that I think I could have put on. Definitely LaShawn McCoy. I was thinking around an 82 or 83 for him. 
because uh, he kind of had a down year. Jerry Hughes had another solid year this year. I think he could go up even more. Um, also, Richie Incognito, they signed him this past offseason. He could be very, very good. He honestly could even have an elite. I just found it hard to rate him. And then even Cordy Glenn, their left tackle, very solid. Uh, but those four guys, I think, could have gotten the list. But let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments down below. Let me know if you think I missed anybody else. And also, make sure you click that link down in the description for uh, the new poll for the Denver Broncos and vote on their top five. Uh, that'll be coming out very, very soon. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you later.